So at this point, we can render our markdown just fine. We've been able to actually display our posts in a way that is fairly conducive to a real blog. Um, granted, the images themselves being responsive is really important, but also the fact that we can actually render out the markdown, that's also important. But the thing that's really missing here is the truncating of characters. That is cutting off the post so it's not showing the entire post in the preview, right? So it's technically should be a preview of the post, not the entire post. And this creates some issues for us when it actually means rendering or using the markdown content because we can't actually truncate markdown content directly, um, or at least we there isn't a simple solution to do so. Um, of course, we could make a solution, but in, in the case of developing stuff, you shouldn't try and fix something that's broken just to make it work. Instead, we should be creative and think of other kinds of solutions on how we can do this. So what we've been doing so far is using JavaScript to actually render the markdown, right? To turn the markdown into HTML. JavaScript or the jQuery library has been doing that for us. Um, and also that third party library for markdown itself. But we don't want to do that anymore. Instead, we want Django to do it. We want the backend to do it. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing now is we're going to actually be implementing the Django markdown deuce, um, or which is basically Django markdown two. This is using Markdown or Python 2's mark, or excuse me, Python Markdown 2 library to actually render the Markdown exactly the way we want it to. Um, so in the case for this one, it's a fairly straightforward library itself. So we're going to go ahead and copy the install for it, and we're going to go into our virtual environment and install this one in. Um, I already have mine installed, but yours will install in just a moment. And then we have to add Markdown Deuce to um, our actual settings so instead of installed apps um, right above page down we're going to add markdown deuce and then we're going to go back into our light our, into the documentation itself and take a look at a few things here now first of all we can render it inside of the template um, this isn't completely necessary for us because we've already set up a way to render it on the template view basically right so we can have it be in the template as a filter we could do that and I encourage you to check out what that looks like, but that's not what we wanna do. Instead, we wanna render it on the actual, like create an actual method that will render it out for us. And that's the markdown deuce dot markdown. That's gonna take our text and turn it into markdown. And we're gonna do this by using a instance method on side of our, uh, inside of our models. If all of that is kind of confusing, it's gonna make a lot of sense here in just a moment. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into models.py where we defined our post model itself. So each every time you see a define and then some function name, that is an instance method. So we're just gonna create our own version of that so we can use it inside of our template. And instead of using um, object.content, we will use object.getMarkdown. So let's just call it getMarkdown. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna make that instance method now inside of our models. And we're gonna define get markdown because that's what we're calling it. So there's a custom method. We're just doing our own thing here and we're going to return. Well, I want to, I want to return, of course, the content itself. So let's, let's just grab the content first and we'll say content equals to self.content. So since it's an instance method, it's saying the instance or whatever that object is, go ahead and grab that content, which is what's going to be stored in that item of the database. And then we want to return this content and turn it into the markdown it's or markdown deuce itself. So at the very top, right underneath Django utils, I'm gonna import markdown deuce. We're gonna be using markdown deuce dot markdown. Well you can also do from markdown deuce import markdown. So we can do that as well. That's actually how I'll keep it. And then down in our get markdown here, I'm gonna do markdown and content. So all this is doing is converting that content into Markdown as we would expect. So if I save this and go back into my post list where I did get Markdown method in anyway, I'm gonna get rid of this content Markdown right here. Save that and we'll go back into advancing the blog and refresh. Oh, let's make sure the server is running, of course. And we see actual content. So it actually rendered out the image as HTML. Unfortunately, we didn't actually set up anything for the image, right? So we, we have the image in there, but we didn't say like, oh, this is safe content, right? So this is actually safe HTML content. 
So we can use a template tag in here and it's called safe. This is a template tag filter and we can refresh in here and boom, all of a sudden the image is back. Um, that's cool. So of course it's not responsive right now because I removed that one class, which we will come back to that. Um, but that's actually not how I want to do it. I want whenever I say dot get markdown, I want that to already be safe. I want Django's templates to assume that it is safe data. Um, now, this is something that if you're doing it in your template, if you're marking it safe in your template, then you're going to assume that in your forms it is safe, right? But saving the data and rendering it is not exactly the same thing. So going back into our models, we want to change this to being safe. And there's a utility function that allows us to do that. So from django.utils.safe string import mark safe. And we're going to copy that and just wrap it outside of this markdown stuff. So just like this, I could do it like that, but I'm going to separate it out. So it's a little bit easier for you guys. Markdown text equals to markdown content. And we're going to mark that safe and it's going to return it. Now, if we refresh and get rid of this safe, so the safe is gone. We refresh in here. Of course, it's still showing up as expected. Now, if we bring back down um, on our post detail and we want to do the same thing, we absolutely can. So we can just do get markdown here. And content markdown can stay. But instead of calling it content markdown, I'm going to say pay or post detail item. So post detail item, that's what I'm going to call that class now. And I'll explain that in a second. And I'm going to copy that and go into post list and add in to where our content is. We're going to add in that specifically. So right there. So post detail item. Um, the reason we're doing this is because then in our base.html, instead of using content markdown for the image class, we'll use post detail item. Um, that's really just to keep content markdown as a class only marking down content. And that's all it's really doing. This, this additional class that we added is to, you know, if we want to do other type of CSS or other things that we want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this console log stuff too. I'm going to save that refresh in here and let's make sure we save everywhere. And it looks like we're having some issues with the actual images. So let's go ahead and look in here. And we've got post detail item. It's not actually rendering inside of that post detail item. So let's go ahead and make sure that we've got that correct on our post list. So I'm going to go ahead and grab, cut this out actually, and put the post detail item inside of the caption class and refresh in here. And there we go. So just, just a slight change because of how the markdown was being rendered on the back end. It was creating a new class and it wasn't actually wrapping inside of the class that we have here. So we can actually get rid of that paragraph class too because it's creating, it's going to create its own. Um, so it's slightly different from what we did before, but it still works. And then back into our post detail, we're probably gonna have to do that same thing, but let's go ahead and take a look. And what we see here is it's actually not even showing up. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna cut this out and get rid of that class markdown stuff. And there we go. So once we got rid of that other markdown um, class, it actually came back. So if we have content markdown and the markdown being rendered already, it doesn't appear to be working um, in this case. So we're just gonna leave it as this and keep this from going, or keep it this way when we go forward. Um, but of course we can have a method that gets raw markdown or we could just return the content itself. So the content itself again is gonna be coming through as markdown. And if we ever wanna use that class again, the specific class of content markdown, we can, and that will allow us to actually change any of those things. So if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.